Chris Rock. Yeah. Chris Rock had a comedy bit where he says, women, children, and pets are loved unconditionally. <laughs> women, children, and pets are loved unconditionally. Men are only loved based on conditions. Well, this sounds really. Fr I think I might have heard this one. I can't. I, I can't quit thinking about that. And and here's the thing: men are only loved on conditions. Now, there's two types of men out there, right? One type of men, man. I don't even know what he call this guy, man. But one guy might say, "That's garbage. They should just love me for me." Mm. Right? <laughs> yeah. And you want what kind of guy is going to say that? Well, like you said, uh, you're supposed to. Yeah. A loser is going to say that. <laughs> I was going to try to make it a nicer way. No, but yeah. <laughs> if you feel like for some reason because you exist, everyone should love you, mm. you're a loser. Mm. As a man, right? As a man. Like if you ask me, uh, entering into manhood is yeah. like I am now a provider. I am yeah. now a protector. Yeah. I, I provide, right? I, I make sure things get done. I'm a leader. That's, that's part of manhood. Um, if you're milking the system, if you're taking advantage, like disqualify yourself from the man. Mm. Right? So being part of being a man is like taking care of yourself, not just taking care of yourself, but providing for others. Yeah. And I think that's a huge part of being a man. True that. Um, so if someone hears Chris Rock say that, and they're like, Hey, uh, that's, that's garbage. People should just love people for the sake of loving them. No, you should love kids. Mm -hmm. For the sake of loving them, because kids, they can't provide. They True. need someone to, to watch or protect them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't understand why people have pets, but if you have a pet, you gotta love it because yeah. it's gonna poop on your floor. In the beginning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's gonna poop on your floor. It's gonna eat things it shouldn't eat. It's gonna break things it shouldn't break. True that. Yeah. And uh, you love it anyway, just because yeah. it's there. Not for any yeah. good reasons. A lot of pet owners are now going to be like, "No, but my dog does this, and my dog does that." <laughs> well, my, at the end of the day, your dog will eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> my cat does this, and that's why I keep my cat around. Yeah. As, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, for me, he's my dog's just a good running partner. Yeah. Well, let's see, so it's, it's this now. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, right. Your dog is a running partner. Yeah. If you have a running partner. I'm fine with that. Um, but you could run on your own. Yeah. <laughs> it's like true i can it's just him it just motivates me absolutely yeah. so if it's a you scratch my back i scratch yours then now i see like you but i promise if your dog broke his leg you still oh yeah him. yeah you would still yes. i can't just leave him there i got because yeah, that's why that's yeah. how i got wrapped up with my dog i mm. didn't really I, in the first place i didn't want him but it ended up being my dog and i love him yeah <laughs> He's been, he's been dead for eight, probably nine years now. But mm. That's the only dog I ever had. Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, we have to provide as men. If you're that guy, you've got your life in order, and women see you like, oh, this guy could just provide for me. I could just move into his house mm. and raise our kids. You're not a beggar anymore. No, you can pick whatever you want. Just like you said, what chooser? You're either a beggar or a chooser. chooser yeah. or beggars can't be choosers. Mm -hmm. and so, if you're a beggar, you're lucky to get in. Mm -hmm. If you're a chooser, you gotta say next, next, and then when the right one comes along, it's like I choose you. you. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we get. Nah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's just my. I tell people this a lot, where it's like. Um, if things aren't going your way, it's your fault. No, if yeah, I agree with you. Out of hand, yeah. It's your fault. Yeah, I agree and with you there. People accept that the better off they, they get their life in order and they get things back on track. I had to learn that the hard way, but yeah. <laughs> Look, and I'm not perfect either. Yeah, like, there's a lot of people who know me really close personally that will be like, "Well, does that mean that you're not a man, Eric?" It's like, "Look." I'm working on it. Like, I'm struggling to get through my own challenges. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm, my goal in life is to be very independently successful and be able to provide for my family, not just provide now, 
would create long-term generational wealth that like my kids will be set even if i wasn't around yeah so yeah. Th 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 these are hard things to figure out and i'm going through it right now and we're yeah. i'm 39 you're 32 and i'm like man if you figure this out now you'll be that much better moving on to the next stage of life